Hey guys, good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope everybody has a great start to their week. So I am currently at a Ford dealership. <laughs> um, I didn't get to go to the gym this morning. It's super early. It's 840 in the morning. And um, I had me and my husband had to bring one of our trucks for some maintenance. So we're dropping it off. I came, uh, we came in separate trucks. And yeah, we're gonna leave back together leave one of our trucks here. So I had to do a couple of adult things this morning didn't get to head to the gym. But this morning I did get up freshen up. I've only had coffee this morning with my silk creamer the new one that I got it was like that brown sugar one. It's it's really good. Um, I think next I'm gonna try the pumpkin one. Uh, I know they have like other flavors. I want to find some other ones, but I really like that creamer. It's really good. So I've only had coffee um, and been drinking water. Uh, I'm not really that hungry yet, but today we're going to be having a full day of keto eating. Keto day today. Um, it's the beginning of the week. So usually at the beginning of the week, I do my keto days. Towards the end of the week, I do like my higher carb days, but y'all know I've been in a calorie deficit. I've been feeling really good. I've been in the gym. I've been pushing forward. I hope all of y'all have been on track with the challenge. I know I've been a little like with the check-ins i've been trying to post them every day but this weekend actually my husband's going to be going to work very consistently and he's switching to nights which stinks i don't like nights but we wanted to spend a little family time this weekend and i had posted some pictures we went bowling we took the kids night bowling they had never been night bowling before and it was awesome so we've been spending a little family time this weekend and i've been making sure i've been in my window of my calories and all that good stuff but sorry if i missed a couple check-ins you know i was just spending time with the family so i've been all over the place this past weekend but right back on track with the check-ins this week um so make sure if y'all haven't make sure y'all be checking in making sure um y'all are staying on track remember y'all can post any meals y'all have any questions feel free to message me if y'all need any help with anything but today we're going to be doing my full day of keto eating and we are going to be unboxing the keto crate today i think i'm going to be doing the unboxing today with dion i know y'all used to love me and dion doing the keto crate unboxings and giving all those snacks a try so today we'll be doing that for october's keto crate box so y'all stay tuned for that review but after this um i don't know what my husband wants to do um we might have some breakfast i don't know what we're going to be getting maybe we can get like a keto breakfast on the go or maybe i'll make something at home i'll see i don't really have anything planned right now i was just kind of winging it today so we'll see what we get into y'all stay tuned for some awesome meals all right guys we came to walmart i mean walmart i said walmart we we came to IHOP for breakfast, okay? Today is my keto day, so um, I am going to be getting a keto breakfast at IHOP. So I'll show y'all what I usually get when I order from here. They do have like new IHOP options, but usually, so they do have protein pancakes. So like if you're doing more of the low calorie day, uh, they do have 37 grams of protein. I've tried their, usually I just get their banana ones because the strawberry sauce has a lot of sugar. So I usually just stay away from that. But they actually came out with the lemon ricotta mixed berry protein ones. I haven't tried those. But if you're doing low calorie, they do have protein pancakes. Um, but most of the time when I am doing keto, I go for their omelets. But when you do get your omelet from IHOP, you want to make sure they are fresh cracked eggs because if you get their regular omelets, they do have pancake mix mixed into them. So I'm going to choose one of these omelets and then for my side, of course, I stay away from the pancakes and toast. So we're going to be getting some sausage links on the side. Can I have coffee with half and half and then just water? Yes. Okay. And then me, I'm going to take the Colorado omelet but with fresh cracked eggs. Yes, shell eggs, everything, and then I want a side of three sausages. Three sausages? Yeah. And then put a side on your own? No, I just want that as my side. No, I don't want pancakes or hash browns or none of that. And I think that's it. And then I'll just take a sugar free syrup. All right, you guys, I got coffee and then I got half and half. And then this is a, I'm going to go ahead and use Splenda. Sometimes I bring my own sweetener, but today we're just going to go ahead and use this. All right, guys, I got my omelet with fresh cracked eggs, so you can ask for Shag L. I got the Colorado one, so I think it has like sausage and bacon and cheese and onion and all that stuff. And then I got a side, so I don't get hash browns or pancakes, I get a side of sausage. And I like to get the sugar-free syrup because I like to put syrup on my sausage link. So they do have an option of sugar-free if you do want that.
You guys, breakfast was good. Amla got me full, ate my sausages, and I don't know why, but Ray brought me to Home Depot. <laughs> he thinks he's a handyman going to Home Depot. The home of the depot. This is the only thing I'm excited for in Home Depot is just to look at the Halloween stuff. <gasps> they have an inflatable Chucky. I love Halloween decorations. Look at all, oh my God, look at that Ursula. That's actually really cool. I actually really like that Ursula. That's, I've never seen that before. Look at the new Halloween stuff they have at Home Depot. I love that Oogie Boogie. They have the Chucky. That was really cute. Look, it has a little mouse on it. That one's really cute. But look at that big Ursula, babe. That one looks really cool. If you are into Little Mermaid, that's awesome. I've never seen that. I am. Look at this big old jack, you guys. I, I think it's this button. It didn't do nothing. Nope, it's not working. Anyways, it's supposed to be doing something. I guess they're not plugged in. How cute are these? You guys, this jack-o'-lantern is really nice. We've been trying to find a scary jack-o'-lantern and they have some here at Home Depot. This little mini one is cute. If anybody wonders where I got my table from that I do my videos on, this is where I got it from. And it's a working table, but I love it. Because you have like drawer storage and then you can cook on top of it and it's like scratch proof I believe yeah they even have it in black but it's a tool table but you could use it as like a kitchen island type of thing and I really like it and it goes up this one goes up and down so this is where I got my table from it's Home Depot Finally, we're at a place I want to be. We are at HEB. I gotta get some stuff to, for dinner. Today we are making some keto chicken pot pie. Okay, we're gonna be making the topping for the chicken pot pie. So we use a mix of mild cheddar cheese and a mix of mozzarella. Then for the chicken pot pie, we need a bag of mixed vegetables, which is usually like uh, this one. Let me check this one. Cause this one has corn. That one has corn too. So we're just gonna get the peas and carrots. Usually I like to put the green beans too, but I guess they don't have it. They only have it in really big bags. Then I am cheating today and grabbing a rotisserie chicken, but they don't have just regular ones. So I'm gonna grab this garlic and herb one. You guys, we came to Michael's really quickly and look at this Halloween base. I absolutely love it. They are pricey, $130, but usually they're 50% off. But we actually bought a mini one from Target the other day. I can show y'all later on. And then they have this little mini one. I love them. Look, they have the little fly on there. That's super cute. So if y'all have a Michael's near y'all and y'all like these, they have them right now. Look at that. It has a little fly. Where are you going? <laughs> Look what he's standing in line with. Because <laughs> they're 50% off. That one is super cute. I love it. And then look at this lit up tree. This is 50% off too. We're going to put it in our room. And then he's getting... These are 50% off little jack lights. You guys, if y'all are going to get that Venus fly trap, it's originally $35. We only paid $17 for it because they're 50% off. So I would get them now. All right, you guys, I'm back home. So we were setting up some of the Halloween decorations that we got. Um, I'm not going to show y'all completely our room because it's not done, but we have a lot of it up. But I want to show y'all the little light setup that we bought for Michael's. Okay, so this is the corner of our room above our bed. So these are the little Halloween lights that we bought from Michael's that were 50% off. They look super cute. So we have this net right here because we're actually going to put halloween like type stuffed animals inspired stuffed animals we want like a chucky one a michael myers one like all the halloween scary movies so if y'all know where to get any halloween stuffed animals let me know or if anybody would like to send us some let us know i can give y'all our business address but i think it's super cute above our bed my husband decorated everything we have this little scare or what is it a skeleton guy back there we might move it once we fill this up then we have Jack and Sally. We have a little uh, picture on our wall and we have a little spider ha hanging. But I think these were super cute and it adds a light above our bedroom. I'll show you all the rest of our bedroom when it's almost done. We have a lot set up, but it looks so much better at night. I'll probably pop up some pictures, but we've been adding things uh, slow, slowly. 
Um, so it'll look different later on. So we have that tree that we want to set up. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up that. This is our window. Um, Ray put this above our window right here. We have this little scary tree. Let the light settle in. We have this little um, haunted house type thing that lights up in the back. I think it was. I think we got this at Walgreens, right, babe? And then we have uh, let the light settle. It has to like settle in. Um, we have Oogie Boogie that we actually got from Walmart, and it has the little trick or treat. And then of course we have our Hocus Pocus book that we had for a couple years, but we actually added the little black cat that we got at Marshall's, I mean Michael's as well. So this is the little corner to our room, and then I'll show you all the rest later on. All right guys, we are going to be doing the <laughs> un... <laughs> All right guys, we are going to be unboxing October Keto Cray, and I got Dion back with me so he can... <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, we are going <laughs> Dion! You started it, man. All right, guys, we are back with October's Keto Crate. We are going to be unboxing and reviewing the products with Dion today. I have my brother-in-law back last year, or the year before that, right? It's been a while, but he used to do the unboxing Keto, keto Crates with me, and we used to give the products a try, so I'm excited to start that up again. So this is October's box, and it, I'm just going to give you all a little bit of quick info before we jump in. Keto Crate is a monthly subscription that you can sign up for. The link is in my description below if y'all would like to show support. You can receive $10 off your first box, and in this box, you receive nothing but keto low-carb goodies. It's jam-packed. All the snacks will always be five net carbs and under, and you can get them delivered straight to your door. So if you would like to receive $10 off your first box so you can give them a try, the link is in the description below. You can use Keto with Sammy at checkout. But we're going to go ahead and dive into this month's box. Usually, I just give each product a try and give my honest review on them. Okay, I, can, I see some new goodies. You always go for the beef jerky. Okay, so first product, we got some beef jerky. What is that by? This is by Mission Meats. Mission Meats. It's their beef stick in the smoky, smoky turmeric. turmeric. Smoky turmeric flavor. I actually really like turmeric. This is what we're working with. Love their packaging. Turmeric is. It's like a uh, Indian spice. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's this is grass-fed beef, so you get really good quality beef. Ew. Okay, so it is. It looks a little funky. Smells good. Yeah, it smells good, but it's just because of turmeric colors. The turmeric is usually like orangey, yellowy type of powder. I like it. And I just brushed my teeth, so that says a lot. Oh, it's really good. Hmm. I don't taste a whole bunch of turmeric. I usually know what turmeric tastes like, but it has a really good flavor to the beef, and I like the texture to it. Oh. What are the macros? It it's like really salt. It has a good like saltiness to it. I don't see the macros on here actually. It's probably zero all across. But. It's made with beef, water, salt, uh, celery powder, and turmeric, and black pepper, garlic powder, and some other, and it's a beef collagen casing, but I would say it's really good. Yeah. So 10 out of 10, I don't know, it even has like a little spicy kick to it, right? More like a peppery, but yeah. Yeah, I guess like a peppery kick to it. I give it a 10. Yeah, I it's eat really that good. just to eat it. Yeah, it's really good. I've tried Mr. Meats before. I just can't remember what flavor I tried, but... And it does have a smokiness to mm -hmm. it. It's really good. Really good quality beef stick. Okay. Next thing I see. This is just like what? Almond, like a granola. Ooh, I can eat this on yogurt. Okay, so we got some granola to try. This is a sweet almond coconut flavor. It's keto friendly, plant powered, nutrient dense, one net carb, and 95 calories per serving. This is by Evan. I don't know what this is. Avino, Avino. A vanilla? A vanilla? I don't know. A-V-I-N-O-L-A. -O -O okay? Yeah. Macros are in the back. Usually all the products, like I said, are five net carbs and under. It does have some sugar alcohol in there, so it's two net carbs a serving. This is what the packaging looks like. It has a mix of lupi, lupini, lupini, lupini bean, bean flakes. flakes, cassava plant, Prebiotic fiber, almonds, coconut chips, coconut oil, cassava plant powder. It even has flax seeds and chia seeds, pecans, and it's sweetened with monk fruit. So that's good. erythritol? Yeah, it has erythritol. We're just going to give a little bit of try in my I hand. I hate coconut, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of coconut, it's but... <laughs> this looks more orangey than the turmeric. Oh, it's really good. It's really crunchy. 
Oh, that's good. Oh, you can see the flax seeds there a lot. Yeah, you can see the flax seeds in there. I don't think it tastes like overpowering coconut. I don't taste it at all. Mm -mm. I taste vanilla, right? It's really sweet. It's really good. Sweet almond coconut. The Mostly almond. tastes like vanilla and almond, oh. but it has little clusters to it. And I think it's great for a uh, yogurt, yogurt topping. Some yeah. Greek, some Greek yogurt. You're really good uh, granola. Again, these are by, how do you say it? Avenola. Avenola, I think. If we're not pronouncing it wrong. Really good granola, 10 out of 10, I have no complaints about it. Nice and crunchy. Okay, next we have a bar. This is by New School, N-U-S-K-O-O-L. <laughs> I'm over here spitting out granola. It's a crunch bar and it's a lemon cookie flavor. Plant-based, it has 10 grams of plant-based protein and it's two net carbs. I haven't seen this brand actually. I so we got so. some new products this month that I haven't seen before from different brands, so that's really good. Um, so we can get some different stuff a try. It looks like it's gonna be chewy. Yeah, it feels a little bit more dense. So I'm very iffy on these kinds of bars. Um, this lemon cookie flavor. So these are a bit more chewy. They're more like on the dense side. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Yeah, very chewy. I can already see it. Oh, it has a crunch to it though. Yeah, it has a This says it's a crunch bar. Oh, it's actually really good though. It's like a mix of a regular cookie and that gooey fucking... It has really good lemon flavor. So it says, it has a picture of a, mac a macaroon, right? That's what they're called? A mm -hmm. macaroon on it. So maybe I guess it's like the texture of one of those. I don't but like overall, lemon, but it's good. Overall, I think it really has good lemon flavor. I thought it was gonna be more like bitter, but it's actually really nicely sweetened. Like you get a mix of sweet and tart. Mm. For it being plant based too, that was a good amount of protein in there. It's only two net carbs. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I give it a s seven only because I don't like lemon, but it's not bad. And I give it an eight. The texture is <laughs> a little funny at the end of it. But overall, it's a really good lemon flavor. I think it's nice. I think it's nice that they put the little crunch in there, so it's not just like... Yeah, that, that pasty. Yeah, so it's not just paste at the end, you know? So overall, it's pretty good. I thought it was good. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, we got a product from Chalk Zero. I love Chalk Zero, you guys. These are the dumb, double dipped almonds and milk toffee. I remember we got coconut ones. I don't think you were here. I got coconut ones. Oh, yeah, we had those together. We have had them before, I right? I think we got them twice. I've got different ones. I've got so many Chalk Zero bars, you guys. Like, I feel like I never buy Chalk Zero because I always get them in my keto crate. And you get full-size products, if I didn't mention that. All your products are full-size that you get in your crate. So, again, these are by Chalk Zero. They have amazing chocolate. Um, these are the double dip almonds and milk toffee flavor. And I like these because they can become individually packaged. Like, they're always like this. So, it, it helps you be portioned. There's two in here. It helps you portion out your sweets, like it keeps you in control, in my opinion, when they're individually portioned as to if they were all in one bag, I would keep going for them. <laughs> I would so keep eating milk, them. What's milk toffee? So toffee is like a caramel. Is, oh, yeah. so this is just So it's just chocolate and, and toffee. Oh. So it's like a chocolate toffee mix. You want to try one? Oh, yeah. So each packet has two, so two is a serving Ooh, size. Ooh, smell it. Ooh, Strong. yeah. Oh, they're going to be chewy. Like caramel. I don't know. Mmm. Oh. Really good toffee flavor. Their chocolate like melts in your mouth. It's more toffee flavor than anything. I like that they put toffee though because we're coming up on the holiday flavors. But I was hoping they were in court and incorporate like some holiday type of flavors, especially in the October box. So toffee really hits that mark going into fall. It's good. good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I you never like have coffee, complaints. Yeah. I never have complaints about Chalk Zero. So if y'all love a good chocolate, Chalk Zero is the way to go. They have really, really good chocolate. Okay, next we have... Chocolate peanut butter. I never right. seen these. So Chipmunk, I know what Chipmunk is. You, they make those big cookies, remember? Mm -hmm. They're like big cookies and they're really chewy. Um, fruit. Chipmunk, this is their chocolate peanut butter keto bites. So I guess they're like little cake balls, maybe? Let's hope. Um, they're sweetened with monk fruit, one net carb in the city. They're soft and chewy, and they're gluten-free. Okay, so this is the way it looks. Good packaging. Yeah, I love their packaging. Their cookies are super good, so I have I, high expectations for these. Ooh. Oh, those are big. I thought they were oh. going to be like little balls. They look like 
I'm not gonna lie, they look like dogs. They look like <laughs> they look like brownies. Mm -hmm. They look like little cake brownies, and they're really thick. Not I'm not as, the biggest fan of peanut butter. It's not as sweet as I'd like. Yeah. They're pretty dense, right? Mm -hmm. They're very dense. It's good though. They're bitter. Mm -hmm. it, it has like a brownie texture almost. I'm gonna be honest, they're not my favorite. Because I don't like bitter chocolate. Like these leave that aftertaste of the sweetener in them. And I'm not the biggest fan of them. I do like that they put nuts in them because it does have like a little texture to it. But I don't like the bitterness. I feel like they can be a little bit more sweetened. And a little bit more on the chocolate side. They taste a lot like peanut butter, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of it. But yeah. to me, it's not bad. I wouldn't eat these, like, you know, All as my go-to snack. But you definitely good. need some, like, almond milk with these. There you go. Uh, at the end. I think it'll be better. But I give them a 6 out of 10. I feel like they can be a little bit more sweetened. I give it a 6 as well. But maybe they have other flavors of them, and I might like them better than peanut butter. They have, like, a brownie flavor. Like a straight up brownie flavor. Yeah, brownie. I think it's on everybody's preference. So they're not terrible, but they're not the best. Yeah. I just wanted them a little bit more sweeter. Okay, we got a couple more products in here. What is this? Gummy, Gummy bears. bears. <gasps> they melted. Oh, no. They all melted. Okay, guys, we live in Texas. Okay, it's like yeah, 100 degrees like, in here. Yeah. So I don't blame them, but the gummy bears did melt. Maybe we can just like cut off a piece. Mm -hmm. uh, I've gotten gummy bears before. They have never melted, but it's been so hot lately. Um, so these are be by Behave. They're supposed to be gummy bears, and they're supposed to be... Lychee, passion fruit, and raspberry. Ras what is lychee? Lychee is like... I want to say it's fruit. Okay, so this would be lychee flavor, passion fruit, and raspberry. 60 calories, 1 gram of sugar. Um, they're supposed to be gummy bears, but when we open this, it's completely melted. So, not their fault. It's very hot over here. But we'll at least, like, tear off a piece, I guess. <laughs> Oh, it's more than the one. It's like, it's all like one big gummy. I would have, I could smell that like, what flavor is that? It smells like. Oh, that's passion is it the, fruit. It's the passion, you smell a lot of passion fruit. It almost smells like an air freshener. <laughs> it's, you smell a lot of passion I fruit. I want it a lot, but I'm kind of regretting it. Okay, I'm just going to get a little piece. Well, at least try it, but they're not gummy bears at all. It's one big mush. Oh no. Sour. <laughs> very sour. It's good. It is good though. It's very sour though. Like super sour. But it has really good fruit. Like the flavor that it says. It tastes very It really real. comes through. It doesn't taste and like the artificial. texture. Mm -mm. The texture is actually really good. I don't know how the texture is when they're all put together. But I mean melted. Like it just like. You know how sometimes when you try sugar free gummy bears they're really chewy. And like I don't hard. Sugar-free gummy bears. <laughs> Usually, when you eat sugar-free gummy bears, in my experiment uh, experience, they're kind of like hard and dense. These actually like melt in your mouth. Yeah, I mean they were. Yeah, melted, but I mean, yeah. but yeah, but overall, I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Really good. If I just wish they were whole, but overall, they're really good. These are by Behave. So hopefully, if y'all get them, y'all get them whole. <laughs> if you're not living in Texas, not a hundred degrees outside. Okay, we got two more products. We got a NOLA bar by Perfect Keto, and I actually really love Perfect Keto. If you ever go to Perfect Keto's website and order stuff off of there, I also do have a discount code for them. Keto will send me a checkout if you would like to receive money off. But NOLA bars are super good from them, but I've never tried this flavor. This is their white chocolate macadamia nut granola style bar. That Again, good. by Perfect. I know, that does sound good. By Perfect Keto. See, these are the type of bars that I like rather than like the chewy. I like the texture. Look at all that white chocolate. Yeah, I thought that was macadamia nut. I can't tell. Is it macadamia nut? Feel it. You'll be able to tell. I can't tell if it's white chocolate or ma No, that's like the white chocolate little pieces. Oh, no. It's kind of like the texture. These are very the, chewy. It's like the texture of the lemon. These are very chewy and they smell really sweet. That's macadamia nut. Is it? Hmm. What does that have in there? I like this. You like it? I can't tell. I need another piece. No, like I need a bite. I like that it has so much texture to it. It's really sweet. Like super sweet. 
What do you think? You're very quiet. I'm trying to... It's good. It is good, right? But it's just different. It is, right? I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. So it feels like it's like in a... It has a texture of... You know the top layer of the pecan pie? Yeah. It's like sticky and like... Yeah, I, ha I guess that would be the best way to explain it. It's like what you mix when you make a like pecan pie. Yeah, like the filling is very like... I don't even know. It's good though. It is good. It reminds me of a pecan pie. It's different. Not the flavor of the pecan, but... The yeah. Texture. I guess the texture of a pecan pie into a bar. I good. That would be a good flavor too. Cause it's I was stuck on this one. I'm like, different. I think it's different. I think it's a different take on all the other bars that they've had. Um, definitely more of like a dessert bar rather than like a bar on the go, like real quick to get your protein in. I definitely think it's like a sweet treat at the end of the day. But overall, I think it was a 10 out of 10. I thought it was good. I give it a 9 out of 10. It's pretty good. I like it. It's different. Oh, okay. Oh, we got another bar. I thought there was only two left. We actually got another, ooh, look. We got another new school bar. Which one was the other flavor? Lemon. The lemon one, so now we got a French toast one. That sounds So good. now we got a sweet one, and that one was like a little tart. Okay, again by new school, this is our French toast flavor. I'm excited to try this. We got a lot of bars this month. Mm -hmm. Same texture wise, so hopefully it's good flavor. Ooh. Oh my God. Maple syrup. That's like Very cinnamon strong. and maple syrup. And it even has like little nuts in there. Like brown sugar smell. Crunchy again. So all their bars have like a crunch to them. Mm. It's like a healthy version. It's like you get a lot of like... Uh, I don't like the saltiness of... The bars? Yeah. So these, in my opinion, they start off very good. You get like that French toast flavor. But at the end, you get that powdery texture on mm -hmm. your tongue, right? So I give it an 8 out of 10. These bars are very powdery at the end of them, but it does have good flavor. Like to me, it tastes like French toast. It does. It it's, does taste like French toast. Um, it tastes like French toast. Just it makes you want a real French toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's like these kind of bars. You need like a bottle of water with them because like the texture just like stays on your tongue. But it reminds overall, me of the good part of the brown sugar cinnamon pop tart. I've never had one of those. Oh, it's so good. I've never, you guys, I did not grow up eating Pop Tarts. <laughs> She's a toaster strudel kind of guy. I didn't even grow up eating those. But yeah, overall, I think they hit the flavor mark, so not bad at all. If you'd like, if you'd like French toast, I'd say go for those over the lemon. Yeah. Okay, so these I actually got, not my last keto curry, but I think it was the one before that, but there wasn't this flavor. I actually still have some. Uh, we got the banana. No, these are made out of banana type. I don't remember. I think it was like a regular flavor the last time, but these are actually mint chocolate. I'm not the biggest fan of mint, so I don't know how my opinion is going to do. But these are brownie crisp. So like, remember like when you go to the store, you see like those healthy brownie thins that they usually have? Brownie brittle. Brownie brittle. There favorite. you go. So it's kind of like those, but a healthier type of version of them. Um, so these are actually made... I know they're keto. They're they're made. It says made with green bananas is what they're made out of. Okay, so it's like so a little unripe crunchy. Unripe bananas. I guess I <laughs> unripe bananas. I, don't know. I have no idea. Okay. I usually don't like mint chocolate. Chocolate, but there's certain things. They're in made of tapico fiber. Green tapioca. Ta <laughs> tapico. <laughs> That's why I have you here. Everybody be in the comments telling me that I pronounce everything wrong. I'm not much better. Probably not. Can you open that? Uh, they're made with green banana flour is what it says. They're gluten-free, low-carb, keto-friendly. Okay. Ooh. Futuristic. This is astronaut food. It does remind you of that, huh? It's freeze-dried, right? Oh my god, yeah. that's a lot of mint. That's a lot of mint smell. Okay, this is the way they look. Now, don't... If you like mint, okay, in my opinion, it's going to be different. It's good. It almost tastes like, you know that taste you get like on your tongue? Like toothpaste. No. <laughs> almond flour. How it makes your mouth get real cold. That same thing mint It's does. not almond flour. It's the sweeteners that you use. Oh, well, either way. So, if you've been good. doing keto a long time, you know that sometimes a specific kind of sweetener you get, you have that cooling effect. Is what it is. But, I, it's really good. 
Yeah. Yeah. I usually don't like mint at all, but I could eat the olive. Yeah. Meat. The texture is good. It's crunchy. It's, it's sweet. not as hard as brownie brittle, but it's got a really, really good crunch. Oh, yeah. They're pretty good. For having mint flavor, it's really good. It mixes well with the chocolate. And they give you a good amount. There's a lot in yeah, there. there is a lot in there. Usually with like some keto products, you really don't get a lot. But overall, I don't have no complaints with them. It's Which really good. like mint? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he'll love those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> overall, they're really good. Uh, I was really impressed with these. So yeah. if you like a crunchy. That's probably my favorite besides the jerky, but I like jerky over anything. Most yeah, the these are really good. I was, I'm surprised. I actually like this flavor better than the original one that I got. It says two net carbs a serving. So if you want to give these a try, it's something different. They're really good. I like them. All right, guys, but those were all the products that we got in October's Keto Cray. Overall, I think we got a really good amount of stuff. I feel like these are probably my favorite. No. No? I like these. They were really good. The milk toffee um, dippers. You like the jerky. You already ate it. Yeah, the jerky. And then the brownie bites. I put them in the box. The brown, yeah, the brittle, whatever. The brittle. The but ones that we just tried were his favorite. But overall, I think we got a good amount of stuff. We got a lot of bars this month, but I think all the flavors, we had a whole variety of flavors of things. Yeah. So overall, really good keto crate. If you are interested, again, the link will be in the description below. You can use my discount code to receive $10 off your first box. And we will see y'all in next month's box and see what we get next month. All right, y'all, I am back. Excuse this wet spot. I was washing dishes. So it has been a long day. My husband switched his schedule. Um, so we're gonna, we gotta get used to things again. Um, he went on nights, so he just went left to work. It's the middle of the day. It's like five o'clock, okay? So it's time for dinner. So everything's gonna be backwards. It, it throws, like when my husband goes to work, it throws me off too. So I gotta get used to this new schedule. So um, we headed to the stores this morning. The only thing I have ate is breakfast that we had this morning and then me and Dion were testing the keto crate. I just had little samples of everything. I'm gonna try to keep, I'm trying to keep track of my calories today. What I'm gonna probably do for the IHOP is usually you can go into their app like online and usually you can create your own omelet and I'm, I'm gonna try to see if it can give me my macros if I create my own omelet for the omelet that I had but I'll see sometimes it's a little difficult going out to eat um and keeping track of your macros because although the IHOP does have like the calories under the omelet when you actually look at their menu the calories are for their standard omelets. Like they do mix pancake mix into their eggs. So it's gonna include those calories and we got fresh cracked eggs. So it's not gonna be as many calories as like the menu says. So that's why I gotta play around with it a little bit. I'm gonna try to see if I can find it after dinner. But if I can't, I mean, we're kind of just winging it today. I know I'm probably gonna stay in my calorie window anyways. Um, so we should be totally fine. But I've only had breakfast today, you guys. Um, like I said, uh, me and my husband were on the go this morning. I did keto crate. I picked up my boys from school, got my husband out the door for work, and now it's time for dinner. So today I'm going to be showing y'all another fall recipe. We are going to making some keto chicken pot pie. I do have a separate video on this. I'll pop it up for y'all um, here up above um, if y'all want to go ahead and check out that video. It's been a while since I've had it, and I know y'all would definitely enjoy this recipe. So we're going to go ahead and start shredding our, our chicken first. So in my video, I do boil some chicken breast so you can do it that way you can shred up your own for rotisserie chicken like i'm doing this is actually isn't a rotisserie chicken all the rotisserie chickens were gone from h-e-b i was like oh my god so i got this garlic and herb flavor because i feel like that'll go good with chicken pot pie anyways but these are actually chicken jump drumsticks chicken jumps why can i say that word chicken drumsticks <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and shut up this and add it to a bowl. I guess everybody went super early this morning at HEB or maybe they hadn't put out new rotisserie chickens yet. I don't know, because usually they always have them. That should be a good amount. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and shred this up, add it to a bowl. Oh, I was craving chicken pot pie. It's been a while, so I know this is definitely going to hit the spot. This is kind of easier, the chicken drumsticks. I went ahead and shredded up my rotisserie chicken and we're just gonna go ahead and put this to the side. So if you were cooking regular chicken, you would do the same thing as well. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and prep some onion. We're gonna move on to the stove top here shortly, but I'm just gonna go ahead and chop half of this onion. So you can just use a small onion. And then we're gonna cook it down. So you're gonna want some peas and carrots. 
Then you're gonna want some minced garlic and we're gonna chop up our onion. I guess I'll chop them by hand today. Usually I bring out my chopper, but I'm just chopping this up. Moving on to our stove top, we're gonna melt down two tablespoons of butter. To your melted butter, you're gonna go ahead and add in your small onion. You're gonna add in two tablespoons of garlic. You're gonna go ahead and add in half a cup of your peas and carrots. Then we're gonna season with a little salt and pepper. And you're just gonna give this about five minutes for your onion to cook down. Look who's back watching over the food. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Never fails. I always have somebody here in the kitchen watching what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give this five minutes. Take too long. <laughs> okay, once your veggies are tender after a few minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add in one cup of chicken broth. Then to get it nice and creamy, we're gonna go in with three fourth cup of heavy cream. Now we're gonna season and give it that good flavor. You're gonna go in with some ground thyme, some rosemary. I season with my heart, but the measurements will be on my other video. And then you're gonna go in with some poultry seasoning. Gonna mix that in. I love the way poultry seasoning smells like during the fall when you're making comfort foods. Oh, it smells so good. All right, last ingredient for right now, we're gonna go in with some xanthan gum. So xanthan gum is a natural thickener. So it's gonna thicken up our sauce so it can coat that chicken really well. I put in about half a teaspoon um, and you, you can just go ahead and mix that in. Give it a couple minutes to activate. If you want it a little bit thicker, you wanna work it, work it up. Like don't go in with a lot because then your sauce will come out very gummy. So then we're just gonna give this a few minutes to go ahead and thicken up. It shouldn't take long at all. I am gonna cover it with the lid and just give it a few minutes. Okay, it's been about three minutes and you're gonna see that your sauce is starting to thicken. I think this is as thick as I want my sauce. If you like it even thicker, and then you can add in a little bit more xanthan gum. Um, but this is a really good consistency for me. So I went ahead and turned off my heat. Now what you wanna do is add in your shredded chicken or diced up chicken, whatever you're using. In my case, we are using rotisserie chicken. Makes it so much easier. And you're just gonna stir it into your sauce. Oh, it smells amazing. All right, once you got this well coated, we're just gonna leave it right here and then we're gonna go ahead and start making the, the crust topping for our pot pie. Now take a mixing bowl to your mixing bowl. You're gonna add in four tablespoons of melted butter, but you don't want it extremely hot. You want it slightly cooled down. To your melted butter, you're gonna add in four large eggs. Next, we're going in with two tablespoons of sour cream and a dash of salt. Take a whisk and then you're just gonna mix it until it's well incorporated and your eggs are broken apart. And it should be nice and smooth. For our flour base, we're going in with one third cup of coconut flour. Add in one four teaspoon of baking powder. Now adding in our cheeses, you're going in with one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And then just one third cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. You wanna go ahead and give this a good mix until it's well incorporated. I kinda like to switch over to a spatula with this one because it's going to start thickening with the flour and the cheese. Okay, once you mix it together, you should have a thick batter just like this. Now you're gonna bring over a pie dish or whatever you're putting your uh, pot pie in. To the bottom, you're just gonna go ahead and put your chicken mixture that we cooked up earlier. By the way, it smells amazing. I want a candle of just pot pies in. <laughs> just gonna go ahead and give this a good spread. Now you're just gonna take your mixture or crust mixture that we just cooked, uh, whipped up and you're going to put dollops of it around your pot pie. Just in evil, even sections. We're not gonna spread it out too much. You're just going to like slightly push it down on top of your chicken. Because if not, like the coconut flour will absorb, absorb like the uh, juices from the chicken too much. So I kind of just give it a little rough spread. Okay, I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. We're just gonna take our pot pie. 
You're gonna pop it in there and we're, we're gonna bake it for about 20, 15 to 20 minutes. It just depends on your oven. Just keep an eye on it. My son came over here smelling the pot pie. Does it smell good? He's like, <laughs> he's like whiff and everything. He's like, is that pie? It sure is. Okay, it's been in there 20 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. But we want you want it sizzling just like this. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me focus it a little bit. So you want it um, sizzling. Now you want to get the crust nice and brown. So you're gonna click broil and just broil it for a couple minutes until it's like the golden brown that you like. All right, guys, and look at that pot pie. It smells amazing. It even took the kids out their room. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna let this cool down, of course, and then we'll cut right into it. All right, y'all, I went ahead and served up Dion because he made his way back over here. <laughs> and I let it cool down a bit. It looks so good. We're gonna go ahead and serve this up a serving. Look at that. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. It's gonna hit the spot, definitely. Okay, it's been a while, so we, we digging in. We digging straight in. We getting the crust with the chicken, everything else. I ain't got no words. It's so good. And it's quick to make, especially if you use a rotisserie chicken. Um, it's so quick and easy. Mm. This is the dinner I'm dancing for. All right, guys, I'm going to sit down. Enjoy this. If y'all happen to make it, let me know what y'all think about this recipe. I really hope y'all enjoy it over the fall weather coming up. It hits that comfort spot all the way. No guilt at all. It's all keto approved, so enjoy it, you guys. Dion came back for a second, but we're going to go ahead and let the baby try the pot pie on camera. I say the baby because he's the littlest, but this is Bash. You want some? He wanted some earlier, so I wanted him to try it. He's probably my only kid that likes to try new foods and experiment with new foods. Here you go. You can go ahead and try that. <clears throat> Where are you going? <laughs> is it good? Sorry, Bella's. Bella, is it good? You like it? Yeah, it's really good, right? You can go ahead and have it. If you want some more, there's more. Kid approved, you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, there's literally like no pot pie left. Like it was devoured by Dion. I ate a piece. My son ate a piece. That thing is gone, okay? It was so good, it hit the spot. So <clears throat> I was trying to find out to see if I can find out my macros. I tried, cause like usually, like if you do like Chick-fil-A, for example, you could like, when you remove stuff from like a sandwich, it'll actually subtract the calories so you can get your act uh, like accurate calories. So I was trying to see if IHOP's um, app does that, but it doesn't. It literally just keeps the same calories no matter what, even if you substitute it for standard eggs or take anything out. It doesn't really give me the calorie intake. So I'm not gonna really be able to tell y'all my uh, macro, my calorie intake today, but I'm pretty sure I stayed within my window. We had two, two meals today. I did try a couple little keto snacks, but I really don't count those on my calories. Really, I just take a bite of each item, give them a try for y'all. But I'm pretty sure we stayed into our calorie window. Um, so not all the time can I exactly track. Most of the time I can, but it just depends where you go. But just make good choices and you will be okay. But I really hope y'all enjoyed today's What I Eat In A Day video. And I really hope y'all enjoyed this awesome fall recipe. Don't forget to give it a try. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Go get